guys, my name is Grace Williams. Welcome to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is the Young Single Adult Multi-State Summit 2018, happening here at the Samuel Kayando Sport Complex, Morovia, Liberia. The theme of this program is strengthening the rising generation. And we have people coming from different locations, different states to grace this occasion from Western Community, New Kuta, Central Morovia, Banga, Toto Town, and there are a lot of people that will be here. The theme of this program is strengthening the rising generation. Keep watching because we'll be bringing you a lot of activities, games, and things that will be happening here. of peace your stake. President, hello. Hi. Your name, please, the world want to know you. I'm President Wimbaud Okai. So how was the preparation of this program? Well, the preparation was a very high one. Wow. But we prayed to our Heavenly Father, He gave us the scream, and we used the wisdom that He gave us to organize this unique program. Wow. So people are people really pulling in like you expected? Yeah. Normally, you know, at the, from the onset, people will not grab the concept. But for now, I, I can tell you we have influx of people. Our number have exceeded as we anticipated. Okay, can you tell us a little bit about the team with the strengthening the rising generation? Uh, as you may know that we are preparing for the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we have the young people who are the rising generation. So we want to prepare the young people with gospel topics. That's why we are organized this summit to teach them how to live and prepare for the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Can you uh, elaborate a little about the programs, the activities that will be here here today? Well, the first program will be the arrival and the registration. As you can see, is what taking place. And the next one will be the orientation. The orientation will be where we we'll introduce all the activities of the program. From there, we have a devotion. And during the devotion, we, we, we give some good talks. We talk about the, the importance of S&I. We talk about how uh, ministering takes place. We also talk about to obeying the law of chastity. We also talk about uh, the, our, keeping our baptismal confidence and also temp preparing to enter the temple. Can you say a little uh, a word of admonishment to the young people out there before we leave you? Well, we really want to help the young people understand how to have a gospel standard and how to be modest, chaste, and live and prepare themselves for the second coming. Thank you very much, President. Thank it was you. nice being with you.
the other house. He knew that what the healer from our sins, we only ask for. In the Messiah, the Lord has given Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, we before we read up. The rest of the program, the program of the day, the activity is present. Robot T O R, University President. Okay, the program was meant to young single adults who are attending this summit today. Good morning, all. Good morning. Okay, we'd like to welcome you today all the participants. During the presentation of the last series of the ten days, that's going to take place. Right now, we are on the presentation and instruction for this program. I want you to continue listening to this instruction and to please be obedient to these instructions that we are going to give you. One, know that you keep with a friend. But your friend and yourself will not be in the same group. Group A, those are in group A will sit right here. Group E will sit right here. Group D is not there. Group B is here. C is here. And F is here. You will do that immediately after the word of tension, you will go to the bars, and then you will move into your beyond groups. If you want to use the bathroom, the bathroom are below here. The women are on the right, and the men are on the left side. So you come down here, and then you go to the bathroom. We have some people from water and food and available for you. So if you have the water, you can go to the bathroom. If you have the water, you can go to the bathroom. If you have the water, you can go to the bathroom. Those of you who have tax problems, we will stop them. We are serving because we have to remain in the amazing our center of us. And because of that, we were not able to pick up everybody at the same time. Out of here, we are serving and making it to happen. And the three things that are going to take place in the year will be we will have football, we will have people, we will have volleyball, we will have talent show. We are not in competition. I don't want to be any better than that. You have people out. You have air grades. You have air grades. And you have other views. Now the reason for me to put you in my group is for you to be in my new friend. Don't be in your life from peace and state. You are not happy, so take out the time to meet new friends. Meet new friends, discuss with new friends, and explore new things. We will also have a group discussion, and our group discussion will also take place in our group. We will have a stand in our school to come to their groups, and we will sit in your room and discuss with you for 12 years. After the job we will get the bus side and we will move to another group. So, take a look at the time we move to a group after the work of the session, then we will proceed to our group discussion. Be you going as a... We will also have... Yes. We will have questions. We have uh, our guest group and at the back we have groups speaking and breaking down to our discussion team. You can ask questions and we will let you find your way out. I thank you.
Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. What a joy it is for us to be here at this time. And I hope and pray that each one of us, especially you, the young single adults that are here today, will take advantage of the similarity of religion. Will you attend this year, the Institute program? And I wish the more of you will attend the Institute this year, like you will. Uh, to be on the map as it comes to the Roman attendance. Now, having said this, let me bring this word because I have a limited time here. I didn't spend all the time on that. We need to talk about the importance of similarity of religion. In the world today, we have two types of education. We have child education and we have religious education. And so, my emphasis will be on religious education. It's good that we combine both of these educations that will help us in this life. And so, here we notice that in the religious education where we have similar institute, for you, my emphasis will be institute. We have, why do we have this similar, why do we have this church education system or similar institute of religion in the world? Not only in life, but in the world. Our purpose is to help you and young adults understand and rely on the teachings and atonement of Jesus Christ. Call them out of the blessings of the temple and prepare themselves, their families and others, for eternal life with their Father in heaven. And so in these classes, as we attend the Institute, we learn the gospel of Jesus Christ as one is the word of the prophet. It prepares us not only for time, but for eternity. Heaven has a desire that each of his children gain eternal life. If you have the scripture to read or your phone to read, you can go to the book of Moses 139. For behold, this is my glory. And then I'm alive. And so here we realize that the Heavenly Father has given us this culture that we need to understand. That for us to understand what we're going to discuss, he said, For we heard this case when we went to the Lord, to bring the past, the immortality and eternal life of man. We cannot have eternal life if we don't know Christ as our personal Savior and as our Redeemer. We cannot no more, you don't have the father if you do not know Jesus Christ. How do we know these people? We must go to learn these principles and doctrine as taught in the words of the prophets and in the scriptures that we have. We also we realize that the same of God, this is not in time. But if I may be the only one who God in Jesus Christ who thou hast sent. Remember that in the last days of Messiah, in John 17, when he was about to lay his enemy ministry, this was a prayer he made to the Father on behalf of us. He was paid. And so here we can see that to know him, we must know. His doctrine. We want to know who he is. We cannot say we are members of the true church, the church of Jesus Christ of the Lord. And we do not know who Jesus Christ is. I don't see Jesus, I see Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. We need to know him. If I know him, we need to go to our Christian classes. Some of us here, we are only here because we are here. 
because it's Johnny Boy. Only speaking to him. The day was tomorrow morning. I'm going to have the rest of the concussion. Both of us here in the time of this thing, we will be here. We will be here too. We will be here yesterday from here on time. So please, not please with you. Please. Therefore, the focus of religious education is to help students understand and grow their heavenly father and his son Jesus Christ. And to help students understand and rely on the teacher, on the Savior's teachings and atonement. And so, brothers and sisters, for all that is not similar initiative is to study the words of the progress, to understand how we can go back to the presence of our Heavenly Father, how important it is that we accept the atonement of Jesus Christ. And as we were, imagine from the Daniel Kessler of the hill of Bogata when he won this book because of us. He did not see, but he died to give us a chance. And all that is part of us is to have faith. We pray for those sins that we have committed. Get baptized. We see the hero of the world and for we the men. We receive the priesthood. And then we continue. Having done that, we are sure we are on a narrow path. But if we are going to teach of this war and forget this one lesson, to know that Jesus is the Christ of the living God, then we are off track. I know by the doubt that similar institute has been instituted by the Lord for us in these last days. And especially for you, not single adults. Institute. It's a place where not only we get the name and the start, not only we read the book of Mormon, the view of the Christ, or read the foundation of the scriptures, but it allows all the requirements that it has for money. It prepares you to go on a mission. And when you start to work with it, you come back home, you can now go out to the temple and get married. And we see what time in town it is. What a joy it is. And I pray and hope that this year, all of you that are sitting up here will take advantage of this piece of new program. That you will attend and you will feel. Imagine this here we are doing more and more. It is death. Mm -hmm. And for a civil life, you will ask your students, you can also know that we will do the third in line with the more and more also. And so you can see that I'm not aware that you are prepared for one mission. Because the two of you know mission will be more and more. So we are teaching our government this year in this issue. I do that knowledge that Jesus is the Son of the living God. I still pray the Father of this for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Mothers. And thank you, Brothers and Sisters, for being welcome. We appreciate you. We love you. And we pray that you will continue in this spirit of reverence. We have been asked by our Lord and Father, Russell and Nelson, to be just that teachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but also rather to the ministers of the earth. The revelation state ministering in places full and visiting teaching. Now what is Christ like ministering? And how can we go about ministering the way the Savior did? Perhaps the answer to this question is found in a story I once read in a church magazine about an old shoemaker named Mountain. Mountain tried to lay the way the Savior talked. One night, while he was sleeping, he heard a voice say unto him, Mountain, Mountain, look tomorrow on the street, for I am coming. Mountain woke up, not to show that he was dreaming, but show that he had heard the voice of the Savior. Throughout that day, he kept looking out on the street to see the Savior. As he looked, he saw an old man working out on the street. In the cold, Mountain batted him in the shop, gave him some warm drink. The man was grateful. Later on, Mountain saw a young woman with a child in the pool. He also invited her in. When he learned that she never had food for her child, he gave her some money and she was grateful. In the evening, 
he saw the woman, old woman, selling some apples. Just as he was about to sleep, he heard a voice whisper in his ear, Mountain, Mountain, did you not see me? The old man you, you helped to make one, it was pain. Even the, the, the young mother that you helped with food, I was the one. When you rescued that little boy, it was me that you rescued. Then Mountain understood the words of the Savior in the scripture when he said, I was hungry and you gave me food. But I was naked and you clothed me. But I was sick and you visited me. I was a stranger and you came unto me. I was in prison and you came unto me. And as much as you did it unto the least, Mosiah said it right. Rather than Benjamin said it right. When he said that when he had in the service of the fellow day, he had put it in the service of the God. All that was, all he's invited us to do is to pour ourselves with the attribute of charity in this last days in order to prepare the word for the second coming of, of the Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, ministry can be done in simple. And we don't need to go hard. And we don't need to go so simple and hard. So, helping one another to restore this thing is essentially a kind of duty of every application. Through his great prophet and apostle, we have been told that the entire family is the Now, all of us, he will all his children to return to him. And we are here to operate with him. And the way we show our true operation is that we should have the love. program today? I'm filled with joy. Seeing these young single adults here, it's a joy. Okay. And because they're going to associate with one another, and that gives them the chance, as we're about to open similar institute in September, that they will also attain. How was the spiritual aspect? I saw people talking, everything was going fine. How do you feel sitting, looking at them, listening to you? I'm very happy mm -hmm. for the fact that during the devotion, I was given a little time to talk about the essence of similar institute of religion. Okay. And talking to them, they need to understand that Heavenly Father desire for His children mm -hmm. not to only live for this time, that they may have the privilege after this life that they may once more live with Him. Mm -hmm. And that can only be done if they research the scriptures. I knew you are, I know that you are part of the uh, people that organize this uh, unique uh, program. How was the process? Was it difficult? Did you have a lot of challenges in the process? Well, I was not fully the participant of this program as it comes to organizing it. Okay. But I realized that there are challenges here. Uh, we first, I was first among the first group that, that had the first FSY, that was for the youth. Yeah. I saw the difficulties we went through, but at the end, we were successful. And now, I can see here, it's starting again. Okay. This is the initial stage. There will be some difficult times along the road. But I know at the end, we'll be successful. Okay, finally, I want to know, what is your expectation after this program? What do you hope to achieve from this group? I hope that by the time we close this program today, by 5.30, by September the 10th, Institute and Seminary will start classes again. That all of those young single adults sitting up on that stand will attend their rock classes. Thank you very much. Prepare themselves yeah. for mission and for marriage in the temple. Oh, thank you very much. Young Single Adult Summit 2018. We are about to speak with one of the bishop or branch president from Bikino. So you are highly welcome. How are you? Thank you very much. I'm good today. How do you feel uh, sitting today with the young people? How is everything? Well, it is very, very much fine because, uh, you know, young people ruminate the street of Liberia uh, all over the world, we can say. And if the church had organized such a program in order to bring them together in group, in order to affiliate and associate with them, themselves and knowing their importance, especially through the gospel of Jesus Christ, I think it's very, very much essential. What are your 
expectation after this program? What do you hope to achieve when you're well, burnt? Thank you very much, sister, because I feel that you know after this uh, this program, I'll be up and out by the leader of the church in our country here. After this program, my expectation is to that the young people will know the importance of themselves okay. and how you know, to maintain the life of these people in the society. Okay, what is the motivation your uh, quote to those young people that are watching you out there? Um, I would like I would like to motivate them. I would like to say something on, as to how uh, they should know that the future belongs to them. Okay. So they should always put themselves together in order to meet up with the goal that they are set in order to benefit the future. Thank you very much. It was nice speaking with you. Thank you very much. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. And you? Oh, I know you are excited that finally this program is successful. Yes, I am. Okay. What do you want to say to people out there watching you? Well, I just want to encourage the youth that is out there of the Church of Jesus Christ and other things that is so unique to see young people around, young people well participated in this youth program. And I hope to see more of them so that they can see how the youth work in the Church of Jesus Christ and other things. Okay, what is your word of encouragement to all female and male out there that are not married by attending this summit? <laughs> Oh. Well, so you encourage them and say that they should first look at our Heavenly Father. He does all the work. He prepares you. He finds your husband. When you go by his steps, he directs you. So I encourage you to wait, to wait for God's time. He gave you the right person. He gave you that quiet person like my husband. Wow, she's saying that you want to have a quiet person like a husband. That's Thank you very much, madam. I'm happy that you are here and able to put all these wonderful young people together. Continue the hard work. Thank you. I'm Sister Selena Diana Juruka. How do you feel about this program? Are you excited being here? Wonderful. It's so wonderful to be. I'm so excited to be here. This is my first time attending this summit program in LDS. Okay, what do you want to say to young people out there? I want to encourage the young people out there to be part of our church and also to be part of the young single adult and start going out and doing things that is not right in the sight of our Heavenly Father. So young sisters and brothers out there today, this is a wonderful program the LDS happened to do. Okay, so I want to know the preparation. Was it difficult because I see you around the food, everything? I know what you can do, I know your fingers. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it was not difficult because my sick person called me before yesterday. So you can prepare the breakfast for pizza stick. By five o'clock this morning, I was there with the breakfast. It was wonderful. Wow, I'm so excited. That is one of the most important person that I was talking about. She's from the Relief Society I of and Second Counselor Pizza Stick. That's that's one of the best stick, trust me. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. Thank you. Hello, I'm Gibson Kepler Decker, second counselor, Pennsylvania Agri Stick. I see you running around. How do you feel about this program? Well, I feel so excited because young people, they are the future leader of the country, of the world. So whenever you bring it in together, that excitement will be there that you are building up the leaders for the future. Well, there are difficulties in uh, arranging or preparing or getting ready for this program because I'm, I'm seeing the stake president very, very busy along with you running around. You know, every successful thing, you know, you know, it don't come easier. Okay. That's why sometimes you see that um, we pass through some difficulty before getting to the point. But uh, for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, we are help ourselves well organized and then um, we organize ourselves in a way that whenever there is a program like this, we know who to contact, when to do it, and how to come together. And the finishing touches, that why you just see all running all around. Okay. So that is President Decker. Do you have anything to say to encourage you out there that are watching you from other states, other country? Yes, exactly. You see, the young people in the world, we need to take God as our creator. And we need to come together in the gospel. Coming together in the gospel can help us to change our life for better. You know, we are created in the image of God. So when we think of God, I think we are thinking of better future. Thank you very much. We now go to some of the game and see what is going on here. What are some of the activities that we have in store for you? Keep watching. Yes. 
so far today ocean i'm in your friends okay because it is good to associate yourself with your, with your wow. colleagues okay. are you preparing to go on mission or you already said i'm preparing okay so you learned something that i'll help you go on mission right sure. okay thank you very much it was nice speaking with you thank you very much welcome and move to the how do you feel being here today i feel very much excited have you learned anything new today oh yes i've learned many new things okay which one are you from and for my tiny world okay you preparing to go on mission or are you preparing to get married which one i'm preparing to go on mission first oh okay so you learn something in there i'll prepare you for mission right yes oh okay are you looking forward to most of it yes i look forward to, to most of it thank you very much all right thank, thank you, you. Oh, okay uh, i'm alice Tineldo. which war are you from i'm from the Cowell, new georgia war to be precise Cowell state are you part of the team that organizes this program yes i'm part of the team okay are you excited <laughs> to be here today i'm more than excited you know more than excited i'm overwhelmed okay have yeah. you learned something positive so far preparing for marriage maybe you already said mission anyway uh, yes 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 the, the the topics that were presented today the group discussion everything so fun everything is so fine i'm making new frames and then that comes from the land of land of going on mission I might say yes, I might say no because it left with my dad if he will allow me to go on mission because it's like I'm preparing for mission at the same time, planning to get married. That's one of the biggest things I've had so far. Yes. So we just waiting for that 
did that or kick our heels, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank so you very anyone much. Anyone that can press. Uh, we, you know us a lot, well, we'll take anyone yeah, yeah, press. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank okay. You. I'm Sony Boyd Wilson. So, are you pairing the share with somebody in here, one female, like you are tossing? I haven't found it. Yet. <laughs> okay, keep searching. Okay, which one are you from? I'm from Freeport Ward. Oh, okay. And the Freeport Ward falls under the Monoville Library of State. Monoville State. So, are you excited being here today? Very much. What have you learned? Like something new? Creative, yeah. Well, I learned about the importance of marriage. Okay, yes. Uh, I got to understand that in the book of Doctrine and Covenants, when you are married and sealed in the temple, you are going to be small gods rather than being angels. Okay, so if you are not married and sealed, you're going to be ministering angels. No, okay. you're going to see a family, and then you will be there to serve them instead of you being. God. And you don't want to serve anybody in the celestial kingdom. That's exciting, trust me. So I'm I'm happy to meet you too. I hope you make new friends. Of course. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks you very up. much. How are you, madam? I'm okay and good. Which war are you from? I'm from the Dwala war. I can see you are so happy here. It's like you already met your husband. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What have you learned in there so far? How are you getting along? I've learned a lot of things and I'm happy. You know, I'm a newcomer in the church, so I don't know all of that, but I'm trying to catch it up with me. Okay, I'm excited to meet you. Have a nice day. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, how do you feel being here? I know you are preparing to just grab one and go and marry. Oh, yeah, sure, for sure. <laughs> so you love this program, the way it was organized? Mm. I love the program very much. It's, mm -hmm. it's well organized. Oh, okay. Is there anything you want to say to people out there? Yeah, yes. I will expect your day. Often, the looking down one, and I said it to all of you, the series to investigate the church of Jesus Christ Latter day Saints. The chair is the true chair on the face of the earth. And by doing so, we can investigate the church to see how best what the church is all about. Thank you very much. Have a nice day, Alatobe. Thank you. How are you? Your name? I'm fine. I'm James Cody. James, how do you feel being here today? Um, I'm very, very happy for me being here. Yeah. 
the teaching was Corona, what did you learn? Uh, I learned about leadership, you know, okay. I learned about uh, all the youth coming together and uh, uh, in one. But okay. once we in there, the things will be better for us. Thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. Have a nice day. My name is Rudy D. Greer. How is this whole preparation done? It's okay. It's, it's nice. It was done by our various sticks. They organized a very wonderful summit for us. We are the young single adult. Do I? got my wife from the program as well, so uh, I always like to attend once I've been invited and this time around I was invited to speak on several lines. Wow, how was it? It was wonderful, very wonderful. The, the, the young single adults were interactive and they gave a lot of views, comments and they asked a lot of questions. So you think from this summit they will know that self-reliance is very important? Very sure. I'm very sure of them. From their view, from their comments, some of them are presently on the perpetual education form, subscribing to world education so that they can be able to sustain themselves and their family and get married and have a beautiful family just like I am now. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you.
Ma me! Ehi!